it just replicates exactly our decontamination facility within the hospital. So we have um, a dirty side where all the equipment comes in and is decontaminated, goes through an AER machine and then is packaged and then transported back to the hospital. It's done um, as quickly as it would have been done within the trust um, and it means that our patients are treated at, at the same time as though if the unit was back in the hospital. We're able to maintain our JAG accreditation from a decontamination element um, because it meets all of the standards that we have to attain, um, which is exactly what, what we need. So the unit provides us with the, the whole package from a decontamination point of view. From the dirty side to the clean side, it gives us the assurance because it's a pass-through unit, um, so it meets the guidelines that we need to um, meet for our JAG accreditation within the hospital. Um, and it also gives the staff a, a cell-contained unit that has everything available to them, so it's easy for us so from the clinical side to be able to process in a timely manner. So the mobile decontamination unit will have a really positive impact for our patients and it will help us reduce our waiting times. The equipment on board is up to date, it's new, it meets all the standards and criteria that we need as a trust. It creates a much more staff friendly environment um, which means it's a positive morale boost for our staff and patients. The day the unit came to site, it went relatively straightforward. So it was a case of just bringing the unit in, positioning it up, lining it up with the surfaces that had already been installed, plugging it in, and off we went. <laughs>